All right, guys, welcome back to another vlog out here from the Wine Cup Gamble Ranch in Nevada. Trying to get Daniel as many firsts as possible. So today he caught his first fish on the fly. We're gonna start a new video moving forward right here with a little bit of coyote calling. We've seen a bunch and we really wanna to try to get Daniel on his first coyote on a stand. And we're gonna try that right now. So we're just coming to this piece of the property where we can hide the truck in this little low elevation spot. There's a little hill right here. We're gonna use the track chair to get around and get set up and hopefully get Daniel a coyote. If we see something come in, I'm gonna try to stop it for you. It's either a bark or a howl. If I bark or howl, you're gonna know. I should I should try to shoot him when he stops next. Okay. But if he's running, just don't shoot. Is it gonna be much for you to like pivot and shoot that way too? Okay. Just move it. Okay. Here we go. Going with the L. We'll do the old cottontail number two. Ryan saw one coyote coming off this sagebrush hill. But I guess he either went downwind, which they'll do, so they'll try to get downwind to cut your wind. But uh, he never committed to coming close. He lost him once he hit these willows. Never did see him again, so I think we'll pick up, try to cover at least a mile and find another setup. But not a bad start. One dog, but no opportunities. old reservoir and uh, it's pretty tight canyons right leading up to it but I think we're gonna use the old road just to get down there look for a good opening the wind is kind of coming this way so if, it, if we can I'd prefer to call into the valley that way that's a tight one
Here we go, guys. Stand number three. Last stand of the night. <laughs> Holy crap, that happened fast. Dang, I wish Daniel was here, man. Called in a double. Let's, let's give it a minute. Let's try to hold it out for a minute. That was a perfect setup, dude. Like wind, light, cover, these rocks. Like This is how I was sitting, just calling. I don't know if you were on me or the dog, but I tried to pull the trigger and the safety was on. I heard that. But I, it's on there and I must have clicked it to like not 100%. And then I went 100% and I heard that click. Uh -huh. Luckily, he was still standing there broadside at what? 70? 80 yeah. yards? Yeah. Dude, he was standing right in front of the call. That's, that's what I wanted Daniel to experience. Dang it. It's a bummer he's not here, but they're on their way to pick us up. This was li literally like a last ditch effort stand and it worked out perfect. So we got safety on. Let's pull that out. Get our round out. Nice, let's go get that dog. Looked like a pretty one, huh? Oh yeah. Perched up in this. Looked like that. Sitting in there. I mean he was not even 10 yards from the call. And we were just in that rock outcropping. Just before we would have been skyline, dude, those rocks were mighty. Oh yeah. Such a setup. Wow. Look at that, man. Beautiful dog. Beautiful. All furred up for the winter. Man, I'll tell you what, guys, this ranch out here is chuck full of coyotes. Never hurts to do a little predator control, especially when there's a lot of cattle, a lot, a lot of wildlife. But from what I've seen out here, there, there seems to be a healthy, healthy population of coyotes, along with rabbits and really everything. And that's what I love about this place is they really focus on leaving everything as natural as possible while doing the livestock cattle. You guys are coming. Look how beautiful that dog is. Man, what a nice, healthy pup. Dude, where were you, bro? <laughs> you dog. You, you guys have no clue. The fastest stand I have ever seen. There was two at Arlen's house, too. Really? And they filled with cows. Oh, really? Chasing them around. Dang it, yeah, these, the, a double came in, I only got the one. Oh, I wish you were there, man, because that was yeah. literally the perfect setup. <laughs> I get the ones at Arlen's house right now. There's, pilot, there's, there's like three of them. Bouncing around? Yeah. They're just running around the cows. That's just, crazy. You have to look at one, it was like, jump. Oh, oh kind of, huh? Yeah. Yeah, man. That was awesome. Yeah, it was fast. There's still Braylon's elk in there. Yeah. I was so pumped when I saw it though. Like yeah, as this... soon as I saw it on your guys' feed, I was like, oh my gosh, that's the bull. <laughs> Pretty cool story guys. So this is Wes, good buddy of mine. Avid, avid, avid shed hunter. He's been watching our stories. He kind of knew we had Daniel out here on an elk hunt. And we posted our number one bull, you know, the big one that we called Crooked Head or Screw Wampus or whatever. And Wes texts me, he's like, dude, I have his shed antlers from the year before. And he's gonna surprise Daniel with a set from uh, our number one bull that we weren't able to get, but at least they'll have a set of sheds off him. And so I just want to thank Wes for doing that, man. So anyways, guys, this thank is Wes guys. James. How we doing? You guys probably know him, Rising Shed. So uh, no, I'm pumped. That's that's so cool that he got one though. I know, he did that's, get one and it's a nice sweet. one. And then this is the set from the last year, right? Yeah. 
So that's his Browns. We're gonna go surprise him. I don't think he has any clue that Wes is coming out here. That has to be that bull. And then I just started matching up everything. I'm like, yeah, like that, that has to be it. Short royal, the straight front. Yep. There you go. Oh no. How are we doing? <laughs> Good, how are you, sir? I'm Wes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Been following along the story and uh, saw your guys' target bull. And I knew immediately, I was like, I have those sheds. That's and so uh, what I want to do is give them to you as a memory. And just, you know, whenever you look at them, you can think of that bull. And I just heard from Eric that you shot one today. So congratulations, yeah. man. That's awesome. Thank you. That's your first bull ever? Yes. Dude. First that, elk. First that's bull. awesome. And then just the fact that, you know, have history with this bull. That's really cool. That's, dude, that's so cool. Thank you so much. No, thank you. Like, I've never been a part of anything like this. So, like, for me, it's it's awesome. I'm just very thankful for Hush letting me come out here and you guys, Gamble Ranch, just, it's awesome, man. I want to give these to you, though. That's cool. He did grow a lot, huh? Yeah, he, he did. He's, he's heavier. He's man. way just, heavier. Well, and then this side's even different. It's yeah. clear up here. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, it definitely grew back way different. Yeah. This year he does have a second, have but it almost more. looks like he has something similar to that up mm -hmm. here. He did have kind of a little knob. But yeah, same frame. <laughs> Dude, so how about cool. that? That's awesome. <laughs> Shit from the bull we've been chasing. Yeah. All right, guys, we're wrapping up, man. We spent all morning cleaning up. It's time to head home. It's been a great trip out here at the Wine Cup Gamble Ranch. Everyone's packed up and ready to go, and what an unbelievable week of hunting elk with new friends and Daniel and everybody, so we're gonna get a picture. Katie, you want a photo? Should we do try it outside or do it inside? I got a new hat too. Okay. Hey, just uh, if, if you wanna watch the entirety of this elk hunt, we're gonna be dropping it in February. So stick around, stay tuned. We'll uh, try to figure out how we're gonna do it, but it's definitely gonna be our movie premiere. So if you've ever considered coming to the Hunt Expo in Salt Lake City, our movie premiere will be February 12th, which is Wednesday and the day before the opener. And then uh, we'll likely drop a day by day series, something that's gonna move you emotionally, it's gonna inspire you, and uh, one of our favorite hunts of the year. So thanks for following along in the vlogs. And uh, best season yet, 2.0, we'll be back in full swing tomorrow. Thank you for everything. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, oh, Travels, my Yeah, you too, man. Yeah, good, good, buddy. Sure. good job. Daniel, you're the true MVP, man. So proud of you, dude. That was awesome, man. My man. Good time. Yeah, get my number one.